Thanks for joining us today. Did you know that you play an important role in the potential of your loved ones? We hope that today's message by Pastor Jacques and Gail will inspire you to help your loved ones reach their full potential. Welcome to Familiar Church. Don't let a critical spirit break down the people that God has given you to build up. Our invitation to you this week is Be a treasure hunter, not a field inspector. Think about this parable Jesus tells in Matthew 13 verse 44. The kingdom of heaven is like treasure hidden in a field. When a man found it, he hid it again and then in his joy went and sold all he had and bought that field. The man in this story bought the whole field. But what was his focus on? The treasure. He did not first go and inspect the whole field, every part of it, to see if he liked the whole field. The treasure was valuable enough. He was a treasure hunter, not a field inspector. We ought to be treasure hunters in relationships. A treasure hunter focuses on the treasure in people, not on the fields and the thorns and the thistles. They constantly remind them of the good that they see in them. And they constantly affirm their value and belovedness. You see, part of our role in a relationship is to help the other person grow. But we need to remember people only grow to the degree to which they feel valued. And I want to repeat that. People only grow to the degree to which they feel valued. It's a good thing to encourage people towards transformation, to help them be aware of and work on their weaknesses. But we need to be careful not to do this with a critical spirit, Uh, meaning uh, making people feel devalued because of their weaknesses. Sometimes we tend to think that if we place emphasis on people's weaknesses, making them feel they need to change in this certain thing, that that's going to make them change, that's going to make them grow. But the opposite is true. And I want you to remember this. There are two things inside every person, a king and a fool. Speak to the king and the king will rise. But speak to the fool and the fool will rise. So keep focusing on the treasure in people. Keep speaking to the king. Keep speaking to the queen and the king and the queen will rise. John Maxwell says to business and church leaders, people won't care how much you know until they know how much you care. And I think he says right, but that starts at home. It starts in your closest relationships. We can only really help our loved ones grow into their God-given potential when we do it with the spirit of Jesus. The spirit that focuses on the treasure in them. We need to look at people the way that Jesus looks at them. And we shouldn't allow the enemy to give us a critical eye and a critical heart. Think about this. The man in this parable found a treasure that the owner of this land was not even aware of. In the same way, God has given you and me the ability to see hidden treasure in the people around us that they cannot even see in themselves. God has placed hidden treasure in the lives of everyone around us. May we focus on the treasure in them. May we help them grow and may we see them become everything that God has created them to be. Shine through the shadows 
candles burn like a fire. We celebrate communion by starting with a piece of bread or cookie and when we eat this it becomes part of our body and why do we celebrate that why do we celebrate the bread becoming part of our body what do we become part of his family yes jesus's body when we become part of it we become part of his family and that's good news can his family ever die no. hey josh can his family ever die dude no, his family can never die. When we leave the earth, where do we go? Heaven. <laughs> we go to heaven, hey. And what's in heaven? Whose house? The Father's house. The Father's house. And that's good news. Let's celebrate that together. And do we celebrate the juice? Yes. Why do we celebrate the juice? <laughs> what's the juice? What does it represent? Jesus' blood. His blood. And why is that good news? What does it do for us? It washes us of our, of our sin, eh? and then we are righteous before God, and when we are righteous before God, we are close to God, eh? when we are clean, we are close, and when we are close to God, we receive things as His children, what do we receive, three things, peace, because, He will never leave us, power, because, will help us to grow and be more like him. Yes, he gives us his Holy Spirit to help us to grow and become more like him. And why purpose? Why purpose? We go out and we share. We share the peace and the power with other people. We are all part of his family, but we are also part of his team. And that's our purpose, to go out and share. Let's drink that and celebrate that together. Are we going to pray? The blood is good, eh? <laughs> Let's pray together. Thank you, Jesus, that we can be part of your family. Thank you that we can be part of your team. Help us to grow and to become more like you. Help us to know that you are with us and you will never leave us. Help us to partner with you and share your life with other people. I bless every family that is watching this in the name of Jesus. And remember, when your family stays busy with Jesus, Jesus stays busy with your family. Amen. Bless you. We really hope that God spoke to you through this message today. And what an amazing opportunity and challenge for us to practice in this week with our families and in our relationships. We would love to hear how God is using this ministry in your life. Please send us your story at familiarjhbsouth at gmail.com. And if God has used this ministry to touch you and your family in any way, please partner with us financially and help us to continue to deliver God's word to families. We all need Jesus. Please like our Facebook page and feel free to comment and share our posts with your friends and family so that we can broaden our reach. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel. We can't wait for the lockdown period to be over so that we can gather again and enjoy each other's company. If you haven't joined us at one of our Sunday services, then please feel free to bring your friends and family along every Sunday at quarter past 10 at Trinity House Glen Vista. That's on the corner of Belez Drive and Huntenburg Street. We can't wait to see you when lockdown is done. God bless you and we'll see you again next week.